As you know, Glenn Miller, now Major Glenn Miller, is here just now as conductor of the American band of the Allied Expeditionary Force. And that's a bit of luck for the wishing well. And for you, Jeff, Rodney, and Rocky in East Africa. Because Glenn has come along specially today to meet you. Thank you, Vern, and hello to all you guys and gals on the all-Allied fighting team. I'd like to put that hello into capital letters to the three gentlemen who invited me here, Jeff, Rodney, and Rocky. I'm sure that many of the forces who are listening, as well as Jeff and Rodney and Rocky, will place this moment well into their memory books, Major Miller. Take it easy now, Vernon. <laughs> and now, uh, how about bouncing a few answers back at the questions that have been bowling in about you and your American band of the AEF? Well, you start asking, we'll do our best. Well, I think first we should start right from the beginning of your visit to this country. Uh, how long have you been over here? Uh, just about three months, but in those 90-odd days, it seems like we've lived a lifetime of really wonderful experiences. Well, it sounds as if you've been kept busy every moment. Well, the flak has been a little heavy at times, and this might give you a rough idea of what it's been like. In the month of August, for instance, we played 89 separate jobs. That includes 35 concerts at the bases and camps, as well as maintaining our regular broadcasting schedule. Well, shouldn't think there's much time left for eating and sleeping. Well, sometimes there isn't. Uh, rumor has it, Glenn, that you and your boys will soon be going overseas. Uh, the sooner we have it, Vernon, the better we'll like it. Uh, have you enjoyed being here? I mean, in the few moments you find outside work? The real enjoyment comes from the moments inside our work. Once we heard the happy sound of a music-hungry bunch of servicemen yelling for more whatever we had to offer, we knew that we could never enjoy a more satisfying payoff in our lives. I can understand that. It's really been a great kick. Not only that, but we've had the pleasure of playing with such fine British artists and new friends like Vera Lynn, Ann Shelton, Paula Green, and many others. A couple of old friends of ours like Dinah Shore, Bing Crosby. And how do you feel about the British reaction to your American band of the AES? Uh, from a personal standpoint, it's really been wonderful. The Tommies we have played for have made us feel right at home. Uh, we were surprised to find that the British youngsters in the service are well educated to our American style of music. Well, don't forget your records got here before you did. Well, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can send some of our bands over here and bring some of your bands over to the States after the war so we'll all get to know each other a little better musically. Well, that's a grand idea. And thank you, Major Glenn Miller, for your visit to our program. Pleasure's been all ours, Vernon. It's always a treat to talk to the men and women of the forces. So to you out there, thanks again for the invitation to come here. And for now, good luck. Goodbye. This is the first time that Northern England has been mentioned in these reports since the flying bomb attack started last June. Major Glenn Miller, the well-known American band leader, is reported missing. He left England by air for Paris nine days ago. Major Glenn Miller came over from the States early this year to direct the American band of the AEF, which has often been heard playing in the Allied Expeditionary Forces program of the BBC.